Right, so I want to record this just to uh, show you uh, sometimes how to deal with days that are just not um, <laughs> going the way you want them to go. Today is such uh, one of those um, days um, where I am still up in profit, about $500, um, but I've had losing trades, winning trades, we're losing trades, winning trades, um, and it's just some so, such days happen. Uh, but you've got to, you've got to, you've got to learn to actually deal with them, um, with those days because they ha they do happen, <laughs> and just take it as you see it because you don't control the market, you don't control price, you so you you um, you're dealing on probabilities here, and so I'm going to use two examples to just show you um, this situation here. So if you look at something like, so I am constantly looking at. If you remember, members of my club will remember I, I say. I tend to uh, um, take a little less. Let me pull another screen up here quickly. So I tend to view this. So this is this is how I tend to look at my chart. So I'm I'm always trying to take my trades on the um, H1 time frame. Um, but then I so I see the opportunity to see um, the setups on the H1 time frame, and then I take my my entry is usually around the M15, and if I want to scalp, um, I don't do it every time. Um, I was testing out a new new strategy, and I was trying to use um, the M3 to do that. So you will always see my screen this way with these four charts. But I'm looking at H1 and and taking some sniper entries um, on the M15. Um, so that's what I'm constantly doing, um, um, as it were. So. Coming back to here, so this is today the 18th, right? So the start of the day, 18th of um, of May. So we had as the the, the day shifted, I had some open um, pending orders that closed, but then I had an an, an open trade that closed around 2:31 um, server time in the morning at 3:85. So that was a loss. Um, as it were so and that is less than uh, two percent I believe less than two percent of the account let's see what that is yeah about two percent so it's about two percent of the account two point two percent of the account um, that trade that I lost there and so as the day progressed you can see at um, 0028 we had um, some gap trade so this was a gap trade that half of the trade closed at um, um, around 3 a.m. Um, so again half of the trade closed and then we had a GBP USD that I then manually closed at um, $124 then pending order then I had an a market order there so a pending order that turned to to um, to um, an opportunity to trade so if I push this down slightly to just show you so USD so this morning it was it would have probably been one of those so one of those that gave us um, some profit um, as it were but you can see what price then the price so I started, continued having my buy buy stop buy stop um, and then I had a buy stop there that went, was then taken out, didn't um, didn't fulfill, and then I I um, I think I had another buy stop here that also got um, taken out. Um, so two of those, if you look at the results down here, so I was taking out US thirty. <laughs> Um, but before then, I already uh, also had a gold trade um, that I I went in at three point three standard lots, and then I closed half of it um, at this point here, and then let the last one run to my take profit, which is usually around seven points, um, either seventy points for the indices, seven points for gold, and seventy pips for standard um, currency pairs. Um, now I can do seventy, I can do two hundred depending on the opportunities that set up but um, as it were that's what it is and so <laughs> so I got taken out there but then I got this entry as well 
um, and that fulfilled that actually fulfilled um, down here that was it here I closed it manually um, but then you can see you um, US tech so Nasdaq also took me out so I got filled in on that trade here and then I got taken out there now what am I waiting for I'm waiting for this to give me my next entry which will mean I'll put my um, sell stop around here or depending on what the candle um, forms it might be there or it might be here and then I'll just wait for price to come just wait be patient wait for price to come and do something similar to what it did here so you can see me there waiting on that and then boom price went all the way so this was interesting price took me in pushed all the way back I didn't panic I held on to the position and then price went came all the way back down fulfilled what I was expecting and um, we took our profit now we didn't hang on in the market waiting for being greedy no once price gave me the what I was looking for look at here as well look left you can see what price is doing here so you can be wanting to be greedy yeah so once price just got into the, that level there boom i'm out of the trade and um, with 457 so unlike something like yesterday where i'm going boom 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 trade after trade um profitable in fact i had a trade that was 3600 and then profitable profitable i had one or two losses but then just mainly profitable trades from yesterday um and other days as well similar things to 375 and all that business um but today yeah it's been back and forth back and forth so let's see whether the rest of the day what price would do for us if you look at us 30 we've gone 53 percent so there's still more to go potentially and nasdaq is 43 percent so let's see let's see what price gives us but that's how you deal with it follow the rules if you lose the trade that's okay the next trade might be the opportunity you're looking for so Let's all get on, go, um, go ahead and um, do our best in the market. Hopefully, you can uh, you can start to return some profit. Trust the process. Trust the the strategy. And it doesn't matter your account size. Just start from where you are, and you can start to return some profits that the way you like. Okay.